Kirby's campaigners feel that their homes, Greenbelt, and even the very appearance of their town is under threat from Everton and Tesco. I went to talk to some of the leading campaigners. We formed as a housing cooperative in 1987. A group of women got together. We all lived in flats and masonettes in the area of Kirby and decided that we wanted better homes for our families, which Nosy Council couldn't provide. So we got together, fought then till, uh, for five years to get funding, which we got funding from the Merseyside Task Force, and we got a g going on our project. And so it's been a really hard struggle, but it's been, it was a fantastic achievement. Now we feel as though everything is going to be destroyed because no one seems to be bothering about us wanting to stay here. No one wants to listen to that. Is this not an eyesore? Of course it's an eyesore. You only have to look at the way it's been tinned up. But it's a self-made I saw by Tesco actually buying this property and doing that to it. And all the people who, who were working in there have now lost their jobs. All the people in the care home who were residing there have lost their homes. And all the people who were working in the care home, the nursing home behind me, have lost their jobs as well. You know, this is absolutely manipulation by Tesco of what's going on. This area here is a pocket of devastation. This is where the, it's, if you, if you like, ground zero. What, what uh, we've been told, what we've been told is that 4,000 Everton fans will be using this station when they come to watch the match if Everton should move up here. And that means that one single line platform will be, will be used for 4,000, near enough 5,000 people. They get all go through that little gateway there when they finally arrive at Kirby. As you can probably see, we're standing on what I believe is a magnificent piece of open green space, which has been a community resource for 50 years. And I believe passionately that it should remain as a community open green space. Kirby does need regenerating, uh, and I believe the vast majority of Kirby residents and the local community passionately believe and will embrace regeneration. We're not Luddites, we're not opposed to change. Well, I think the change has got to be for the benefit of the community, not for big business. If Everton Football Club are looking to, to uh, accrue business and attract sponsorship, I believe that doing it on an iconic site right in the heart of, of Liverpool, the European capital of culture, uh, will be a lot more beneficial to them financially uh, than what it would be to come out to Kirby.